Well, I think the problem of underinvesting in primary care goes back further than three years. I think it goes back a very, very long time. I think inside the NHS we've invested in hospital care, in ANEs, and everything that happens around the secondary sector. Um, and we haven't done a parallel investment in primary care. But if the NHS is to be sustainable, prevention is better than cure, and we do have to look at investing properly in primary care. Part of the issue we have to do is to make it easier for people to contact their GPs so that they don't become ill and go to hospital, which costs the NHS a great deal of money. But we need to learn a lot about the most efficient and sensible ways to do that. So, for example, a lot of people at work would like to be able to email their GP. Um, GPs are worried that that could increase their workload, although others say it could reduce it. So this announcement, which we're funding with an extra £50 million, will help us understand how we can make GP services more accessible. Well, I think we have to be careful about saying it's just about money. I think resource is one issue, but I think there's also the issue of the way we ask GPs to do their job and uh, how much we actually trust their professional judgment. I think the, the GP contract that we have at the moment really micromanages GPs and prevents them being the family doctors that we all need them to be. And I think the, the heart of this is really about having proactive care by GPs and other people in the community rather than waiting for people to come ill, sometimes looking after them in the community and sometimes having to rush them to hospital.